chasing the police every single day. Punta Gorda won't appeal Sheets case. City Council will revisit sign code ordinance. By Elaine Allen Emrich. Staff writer. Punta Gorda instead of appealing a costly court case against Andrew Sheets, the Punta Gorda City Council may revisit its sign code ordinance. City Council member Mark Kaharski was the only one who wanted to stand firm and appeal a recent district court's decision on the city's sign code ordinance. Sheets. 57, who runs social media pages for Copwatch, was cited and fined for displaying what the city's ordinance deemed indecent signs, flags and shirts in public places in Punta Gorda. The ordinance defines language or graphics that depict or describe sexual or excretory activities or organs as offensive by contemporary community standards. Sheet sued Punta Gorda after he received eight citations, was fined $2,500 and had a lien placed on his home for not paying the fines. He was also arrested twice in connection with protesting the ordinance. A circuit court judge recently determined the sign code ordinance violated Sheet's constitutional rights. The city had until this week to appeal. City attorney David Levin, who was looking for council direction, advised against it. In my professional opinion, I believe the decision was not consistent with long-standing Supreme Court precedent and that in of itself would be sufficient grounds for an appeal, he said. But I have no high-level confidence that we would be successful. Mayor Lynn Matthews asked if that meant they should revisit the sign code ordinance. Levin said yes. He said the application of the sign code as related to indecent speech did not constitute a violation of the ordinance. I think it would make the ordinance more difficult to implement and enforce if we left it the way it was, Levin said, adding the words obscene, indecent, and fighting words should be removed to avoid constitutional arguments. City manager Greg Murray said there's a conflict in interpretation of words in the Punta Gorda ordinance. Sheets. Some words can be used as a verb and an adjective in a non-sexual content, he said where the same word can be used in sexual content. And if we were able to completely differentiate those two, our ordinance may be somewhat enforceable in that context, but how do you do that when if someone is using something as a verb it's a freedom of speech issue as opposed to the other which is very difficult, very tenuous to even discuss. He said it would be much more conducive of city staff to change the ordinance and go back to a different position of how the sign code is enforced. Vice Mayor Debbie Carey said from the beginning, the ordinance put a target on the city while trying to uphold community standards. It has put targets on our backs, she said. She said the ordinance was created in response to endless public queries by residents. Some were offended by Sheets and his followers whose displays used the F-word and other alleged offensive language and signs on public sidewalks and near social events. Basically it was because of one person, she said. I would not want any other person sitting in the seat to have to go through what some of us went through because of this ordinance. I think to protect everybody's safety and sanity, we should let it go. Matthews agreed, saying it was time to make changes and move on. I think we've spent enough time and money on this whole sign code dispute for the past two years, she said. I didn't like the all of the threats that were made on my life on my house, on my family. I didn't like all of the things that were going on surrounding all of the craziness of the suits that were being filed. It's a shame that some people have to act with that kind of behavior as adults, but it happens and I don't think we are going to stop it no matter what we do. Kaharski said he wasn't on the council at the time the ordinance was created, but said his opinion is to never back down from anything. I don't care what it is, whether it's a sign ordinance or not, I don't back down, he said. I wouldn't vote in favor of the sign ordinance, per se, but I'm not in favor or backing down. Sheets told the Daily Sun the city was wrong. They spent more than $80,000 fighting me and we aren't finished, he said. The outside attorney costs $400 an hour. This is all because they wanted to make free speech a crime. They didn't go after other groups who used bullhorns or signs with bad words, 
they just went after me and violate my rights. City spokesperson Melissa Reichert said the total cost for the Sheets case is not available, yet. Email, elaine.allen at yourzun.com. Copyright Suncoast Media Group, Inc., edition October 26, 2022. Powered by Tpnavia. Oh. Go stand somewhere else, dude. Go stand somewhere else. This is free speech. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.
He damaged my hearing. I, I, now I can't really. I can't. I can't say he just damaged my hearing. I've been watching you out here causing this problem. This is legally protesting. You should be ashamed of yourself for being un-American. Come on. Where's your car at, Andrew? Dude, I am leaving. Where's your car at? Don't fucking touch my Where's son. Where's your car at? Dude. Go to your car. Go to your this, car. I am legally protesting. You don't pro You don't want that in front of little I am Come legally Let's protesting. Go. Let's go. Dude, I want, you're violating my civil rights? Care. Take it over with the court. Did you hear him say this? Care. Go ahead. Did go you ahead. hear? Dude, go. get the fuck out of my go. space, man. Where's your car? Get the fuck get out of my space. Get away from the kids. I, I can this. fucking leave. Let's go. Let's Dude. go. Let's go. Dude. Go to your car. Wherever your car is. Hey, Anthony, go to your car. can you get the supervisor? Go to your car. Get Come the on. supervisor. Your He's car. touching my shit. Go to your car. Go to He's your touching car. my shit. I'm not going to harass these kids. This is car. not harassing. This You're is harassing this these is, kids. You're this stopping is, traffic. I am You're not stopping traffic. traffic. Get out Bullshit. Here. Go. Go. I am go legally on, protesting. Then protest away from the school. I can put Quit Let's fucking touching my shit, Let's man. Go. I got a shoe. Go. I got a shoe. Get your shoes. Get your shoes. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And you're uh, telling me to leave why? I'm telling you because you're calling a disturbance. I am right not. Here. You're stopping traffic. You, I did not. I'm not here for no reason. Watch I did street. not. I did not. Watch the pole. Watch the pole, Andrew. I did not. I am, uh, Andrew, don't call me cop. It's Detective Delgado. You got it on your camera. Let's go. Come on. Quit Let's fucking go. touching me. Get away from here. Fuck you. I don't care. Whatever you think that that's going to hurt me. Watch the polls. Let's go. Let's go. You're not going to be over here terrorizing these kids. Terrorizing? You're ter Come on. Let's go. I am fucking waiting Let's for go. people, Let's ass go. fuck. You're not going to terrorize these kids. You protest all you want over here, but you're not going to be in front of that school. Seriously? You heard me? You got me on camera? What, you think I'm worried about that dog on camera? Wow. You really think I don't care about that camera? Let's go. Go to your car. Wow. Wow, nothing. Don't go back to that school. I'm trying to cross the street and you are fucking assaulting me, Whatever. ass. Whatever. Hold on. Let this idiot crawl. Wow, you're the one that's a fucking Nazi. You don't even know what it is to serve. Oh, for the founding fathers, you stupid. Fuck you. You're out of here. Get out. Fuck you. 